Give a warm welcome to Aluda Luis de Azua. Thank, thank you so much, today. And I will ask a few questions, but please feel free to think of something that you want to ask. Uh, I will get it going. I know, sweet, we are shy, but please feel free to think of something and I will get this started. So, first of all, I know you have had a very long festival season and this upcoming question, you will probably have answered it a lot of times, but as a festival moderator, it is included in the CV. What inspired you to make this film? Yeah, have answered that <laughs> a lot, but I um, I completely understand that it's the it should be the first question. And I am interested. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy to answer to you. Um, well, inspiration is a tricky thing because in in my case, it's not that I have just a very clear an idea what the whole movie was going to be. I am. Um, I became a, a mother and I had a very complex first year of motherhood. You know, it was happy, it was crazy, it was sad, it was, I have fears, doubts. And I began, began to think that it was a very complex experience. It began to change the way I was um, uh, seeing and watching my own mother, the relationship with, with my own mother and my own father. And I decided that I wanted to explore that feeling, that emotional process that I was having. And uh, I began to take notes, and suddenly I, I, I did have this idea that that the best way to talk about it, of this, it was exploring a story where a woman of my generation, that has uh, that had become a mother, was um, was in a way obliged by circumstances to relive the, the the life of her own mother, so to to switch the, to change the roles, and that was the beginning of everything. So some in part autobiographical in that sense, that you draw inspiration. And keeping on that topic, how much did the like Basque country influence the characters in the film uh, when you wrote them? It's, I, I, I usually don't say autobiographical because I feel autobiographical is like the exact story, the exact facts happen to you. For me, the, the feeling, the emotional process was the autobiographical thing because the facts, they, they didn't happen to me that way, that order exactly or anything like that. But the Basque thing is autobiographical for me because I am from the Basque country. And for me, the, um, I was uh, writing a movie about coming back home uh, with family. So for me, my, uh, my head in my personal universe, that's the Basque country, which is in the north of Spain. Um, people from the north, I think, I don't like uh, to make generalizations, but it's true that I feel that Basque people usually are a little bit more, um, you know, content, or like we don't express our feelings of our affections in such an open way. So I feel there is something about that in the in the movie. Interesting, and I. I would also like to praise the cinematography of the film, which I think presents a very intimate and view of the family. Uh, could you talk about the process of shooting the film and how you chose to, well, present the film in the way of photography, if you understand what I mean? You mean photography? You mean yeah, like the cinematography, the photography, the how you shot the film, more basically. Formal aspect then. Yeah, like... Uh, yeah. I had this idea that um, I um, I was writing a film that it was about daily life, with no plot twists, no big uh, you know info things, big facts, big explosions or anything. Like it was daily life, but with something emotional happening beneath. And I thought that the best way to capture it was um, imagining that my viewer. I mean you, <laughs> that I wanted to put you like if you were like an invisible witness in the house, that you were, uh, that you have the distance enough not to, um, not, 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 not to feel uncomfortable, but also that you could feel the intimacy of being uh, part of that family. So that uh, brought me to a very, very, um, I think, uh, minimalistic uh, camera um, uh, disposition and a very, you know, and to trust the vision with the most emotional moments and that kind of thing. Uh, I want to ask you one thing about Pedro Almodovar. We will get back to that. But let's see if someone in the audience wants to ask 
you something about the film? I know. Yes. Did you think about uh, shooting that uh, story at the cinema first or the theater? Because for <coughs> me, uh, I see that very much on a play at the theater as well. Because, uh, as you say, it's a very intimate mm. way of focusing on the characters rather than the background or. That's interesting. No, for me it was always film because uh, the, the routine, the daily life thing, it's something that you build moment by moment. So I feel that's something very cinematographic, you know, through the edition, through the small moments, moment. And also there was this thing about, I think which is magical about movies, that you can capture things invisible happening, you know. Uh, when you're directing and you repeat the same scene and then you go to the edition, you, ha you have two takes. But in one of the takes, even if they are saying the same takes and the same action, something emotional happened, so you know that's the one. So when you, I, I was trying to capture that kind of emotional, invisible thing that was beneath the whole routine, the whole daily life scenes. So I thought for that film is the, is the best vehicle. But, um, but you give me an idea to maybe do the, <laughs> you know, the theater play. Anyone else before? No? Um, Peter Almodovar said that uh, this film is the, I mean, what did he say? Let me check my quote. That it's the best Spanish debut in years. I mean, if I were in your seat, I would be perhaps like trembling. What is he saying? <laughs> how does that make you feel when you hear such praise? Well, I mind that. Um, I, I mean, he's such an important figure and such a great uh, filmmaker. And while well, the day I read that, I was like, um, my producer was saying to me, oh, you should Twitter that. And I was like, I can move right now. <laughs> so I can check anything. I can do anything. What's going on here? It was so, it was so flattering. And it was so, you know, it, it was free when I read that. Yeah, I think it's, uh, I mean, when I saw that and uh, about the film, and I feel like, well, okay, well, no pressure feeling <laughs> about the next project. And... The film has done very well at film festivals uh, during its entire run, uh, several top prizes in Malaga Film Festival, uh, and it feels that, as if you are a part of a new all-female wave of Spanish cinema. Would you agree, or, and if so, how does it feel to be the frontrunner of this new wave? <laughs> well, I don't know if I'm the frontrunner, but, but, it, but I think we... We do feel there is a new um, there is a new wave, um, and female directors are, are front runner of the way. But also there are even other male directors. Like there is more sort of a different generation that is arriving to the industry and arriving to the to the festival from the Spanish um, background. So we do feel that that sort of transition is happening. That is not only one voice or two voices. That it's a different generation, and when you see the um, global picture of the Spanish cinema right now, you, you can see that there are like a couple of generations beginning to collide, which maybe five years ago it was not that clear. Yeah, and as I said before, that the reception it shows that it's well received uh, by both audiences and critics as well. And the cast is, I mean, they work very well together. They, I mean, the family feel is very present in the film. Uh, when you wrote the script, did you have certain cast members in mind or how did that process came about? Was it intuitively or, yeah, did you have someone in mind before writing the script? Uh, when I begin to write, no, because I, I, I think I would read people, I think I would have they work, they speak, they do the things and, and I, I write. But there was a point when we have like, I don't know, maybe it was a third or fourth, fourth version of the script and we were confident that maybe we could make the movie, that the producers asked me to begin to, to think about the cast. And I have to say that my first ideas, my first intuitions were Laia Costa and Susie Sanchez. And it was a very intuitive feeling. And then I, well, then I rationalized it. And I know why um, Laia Costa has this, uh, this truth. Uh, I know, he's, she's so truthful about everything she does. And I also um, like that she, she portrays uh, imperfect women in a way that they don't need to be pleasant, 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 pleasant the, the audience or anything like that, which I love that. I think that's complex and I like that. 
and um, I'll say it was magical because it was like the perfect moment for her because she was, well, the first time we talked about the script, she was pregnant, but she couldn't tell me. She was telling me like, oh, I'm, uh, this script, this, this is so interesting to me, but I, I cannot tell you now, but I would tell you whatever. <laughs> and then we discovered that she was pregnant, she had the baby. So when we shot the, the movie, it was like the perfect timing because she had all this experience. Um, Susi Sanchez, Begoña, was also a very first uh, intuition because I didn't want to portray like a housewife that was a cliche or a stereotype. And I think she has this elegance, this mysterious thing, this uh, strong character that also adds uh, com complexity to the character. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very well done and well put together. And I read in an interview uh, where you briefly mentioned different audience reactions that you have picked up during the festival run. Uh, and you concluded this by saying that a common reaction was, I'm going to call my mother. Uh, and for myself, I can definitely agree. Um, but So this question is perhaps a two-parter. How do you think people will leave the cinema? And how do you want people perhaps to leave the cinema after just seeing the film? Oh, I don't know. Um, I just feel... I like when they tell me that they, they watch the movie and they, they uh, went out and they spent like an hour talking about the movie. I think, I think that's a great thing that ha can happen to a movie, that you want to talk about it. Or, of course, if you want to, to call your mother, that's great, too. Um, that um, it makes you feel less alone, less lonely about certain things. I also think that's a great feeling that movies can have for me, or that I wish that could have for them. Thank you. Um, and I feel I also have to ask this, since it's, uh, I mean, the... The film has been so well received, but what's next? Is there anything that you can talk about or anything that you have in the pipeline? You got the theater idea here. Yeah, Maybe. I got the theater. It's a good idea. <laughs> um, now I'm working on my second personal project and writing, and we want to to repeat the team, let's say the producers and I. We want to to raise another project, but I I can't tell much more because I am in the writing uh, process. So. But I hopefully it won't take me that long because uh, to raise uh, um, Lullaby or A Song for My Daughter, I think is the title that yeah, is, in is, is in Sweden, right? Um, I think it took me like five years. So hopefully <laughs> the, the next one won't take me that long. <laughs> no, so I mean, my question I cross is, my fingers, yeah. but you never know with cinema. So. It was totally non-pressure. It was more out of interest because it shows <laughs> well, in... Um, that's cute. It's, um, I mean, as I think we all can agree on, it's a fantastic film. Mm -hmm. And again, I thank you so much for coming here uh, and having the film at the festival. And I wish you the best of luck with the upcoming project as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you.